Okay, so she is now inside of here, hot boxing it up, getting her vape on, busting out the jewel. What do you want to say? I don't know. Doing what all the cool kids do in the boys' room, you know. So. Well, look what we have here. Fresh Toucan merch with brand new designs. And what else? Our top contributors on Patreon. All this goes to the channel and helps rescue new birds in the future. Again, we could not do this without you guys, and I can't thank you enough. What's up, everybody? Um, so, as you know, it's been about three weeks now since I've had Beatrix here. And as you can see, she's looking quite a bit better. We're gonna see how much she sneezes during the video, which shouldn't be any, because she's been completely good lately so um she's almost completely actually i i can't remember the last time i heard her sneeze to be honest with you but she's been in quarantine back here in my bedroom for the entirety of her duration here <laughs> and guess what she just did pooped on my bed for the millionth time oh, 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 oh rewind what i'm sorry did you say something about pooping in a bed yeah you know how many times I've washed my sheets in the past few weeks has been completely insane. <laughs> um, her behavior is definitely going to be the thing that needs the most work. Uh, she's going to, uh, she's been a handful to be honest with you. It's been extremely exhausting and there's not much more to say than that. Um, thankfully she's letting me get a little bit closer. You want a blueberry? hold that the whole time she'll probably hold that the entire video but yeah um she's needed medicine four times a day two of which are what they she might hope she doesn't freak out when she sees this or with a little syringe which i'm going to give her shortly um might not be on video but that does have to be done twice with that the other two times i can hear tupac back there calling for me <laughs> Um, the other two times for medicine is something called a nebulization chamber. So a nebulizer is basically like, um... Okay, hopefully this edit isn't jarring here, but I decided to go ahead and just film it outright without the narration like I was originally going to do and then just having this as b-roll because it would be easier for me to explain everything. But basically, you got your small compressor here. It, pushes air through this tube here into this thing, which is called a nebulizer. If we can focus on it. There we go. Um, you take a syringe. Where did the syringe go? There it is. Syringe. I'm gonna take the liquid out of here, put some into here, and we're gonna leave her inside this box for about 15 minutes. So basically this, here's the piece you would normally use. Usually there's like a mouth piece on the end there that you would put on your mouth and then breathe and then you would exhale through here but we don't need this part so we covered it up we want this box to fill with uh, vapor so so she's gonna be hot boxing in here for a little while and um, I drilled this hole with like a 7 8 of an inch hole saw or not hole saw a spade drill bit I think that's what it was yeah it's not perfect but it got the job done and then you just kind of fit that in there like that. And then we, this connects to here with a little grommet that's like attached here. I guess it's like a grommet, is it? Yeah, I guess it's basically that. Um, and then we attach this hose to the bottom here. So I'm gonna fill this up with vapor and we will be right back. A few moments later. Okay, so we got everything connected now. Air compressor, little tube goes in there. You see the liquid. Um, it's compression fitted into this and we're gonna flip it on here. And you can see the vapor is starting to fill into the box. So we're gonna give it a little while before we put her in there. <laughs> She's like, oh no. But, um, I'm sorry, girl. 
Lily. It's got to be done. Um, just a little more, just a couple more times doing this, and then we'll be done. And then I'm going to cover this whole box up with the blanket and turn the lights off. Um, and then we'll cut to when I'm, after I've taken her out. So, I'll put her in here, and then we will, well, let me flip it around here. Okay, so, I'm going to go get her and put her inside here, and we'll be right back. Stop it. Get some help. Okay, so she is now inside of here, hot boxing it up, getting her vape on, busting out the jewel. What do you want to say? I don't know. Doing what all the cool kids do in the boys' room, you know. So, are you enjoying that? She's not freaking out. She's probably used to it now to the point where she's not going to be freaking out like she was, but she does like. She does like straddle like crazy. I don't know if you guys can see that. See how her like legs are spread out? She's like. That, I can go lower. But yeah, we're gonna leave her in here for about 15 minutes. Like I said, we do this twice a day and we've been doing it for three weeks. So, um, it's not, not completely uh it's not the easiest thing in the world is what i'm trying to say there's lots of biting going on when i'm doing this but uh usually she hops right out whenever i open it thankfully and she's she seems to be kind of enjoying herself now so that's a good thing oh that's a good thing i almost dropped the camera so i'm gonna cover her with the blanket and then we will be back when we're done so give me two seconds 15 minutes later all right it's been that time and um she hasn't really moved that's a good thing she hasn't pooped on herself that's also a good thing um we're gonna let her out here let me turn it off and then i have a nice meal ready for her so let's see if she just hops out whenever i take this off you want to come out look at all that vape coming out look you want this? No. <laughs> it's time to come out. You're allowed to come out now. Am I gonna have to coax you? Oh God. Okay, I'm gonna go get her and then we'll be right back. Yeah, so she pretty much panics like that every single time I do this stuff and poops everywhere. She just pooped everywhere again. Uh, well, uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, no discharge in her feathers anymore. No sneezing, no heavy breathing, no wheezing. Um, she's been good. Her feathers look good. And she's even getting a... Look at those little cute ass little tail feathers. Aren't those adorable? She's growing these little baby tail feathers in all at once. But um, she'll be out of quarantine in a week, uh, like I said. And what else is there to say, guys? Um, I couldn't do this without you. If I wasn't doing YouTube full time now, I couldn't have Beatrix right now, and especially not Tupac. Uh, Tupac needs constant supervision, and right now she kind of does too. It might be different in the future, but like I said, her problems are completely behavioral past once her infections and stuff are healed, which they, I'm pretty positive they are now. Um, the vet says she's not contagious or anything like that anymore. So, um, you know, she's clearly had a life that's not been with much interaction with people especially not outside of an enclosure. And like I said, she was spending some kind of time in like a medium sized conure or maybe African gray sized parrot cage and uh, a guinea pig cage or something. I don't know. And by the way, guys, uh, I don't wanna see anybody shaming the previous owners of Tupac or Beatrix in the comments. Look, let's focus on the future now. We are where we are now and all we can do is worry about the future and that's what's most important, right? So, 
if we if we like if you guys continue to do that or if anyone starts witch hunts or anything like that people aren't going to want to give their birds up to me and that's going to suck because eventually i want to have a big place where people can feel comfortable anonymously giving their birds to me and not feel like they're going to be shamed for it and the birds can get help and things like that so i know people are interested or not interested people are mad that she asked for money for her and stuff and you know i mean <clears throat> i will say that at the very least her beak looks pretty pretty damn good and uh, she wasn't malnourished i think she was fed properly so that's great but you know all we can do is look to the future and like i said i don't want to see that kind of stuff in the comments guys please so but <clears throat> that's about it guys you know she's she's looking pretty good you know her feathers aren't messy anymore well her some of her wing feathers are a little ratchety but you know she's uh other than that i mean i can't wait to get her start working with her you know in a normal setting where i'm not traumatizing her with uh giving her medicine constantly because i know that's not helping my relationship with her at the you know in the at all it's not helping at all trust me it's making it way worse but it's something that absolutely has to be done and that sucks because i don't want to damage my relationship with her you can eat that you know you don't have to hold on to it look i got another one you want another one another one no look how beautiful her eyes are though i don't know if you guys can see that Look at that. You have the prettiest freaking eyes I've ever seen. You know that? They're bluer than Maeve's. Don't tell her I said that. Okay? <laughs> but thanks so much for watching, guys. And, oh, don't, don't shame me for this. But we have TikTok now. And I just thought it would be a good way to get videos out daily that are short and easier to do than YouTube. So if you guys want to check that out, it's at Toucan TV. I'll put a link in the description. But I'm going to try to post videos there daily. You know, they're not that long. So um, you'll get to see the birds all the time. And then Instagram, of course, we're always posting photos of all of them. I try to do that every day as well. So check that all out in the description. Um, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, like, all that good stuff. Really helps out with the algorithm, helps, helps all of us here out because, you know, the more successful the channel is, the more we can do with the birds and the better we can help them so um but anyways guys we will see you very soon i did take a video of her biting the absolute piss out of me because i want to be able to show the darker sides of having a toucan and um let me get her in the frame here too it's kind of hard because i'm tall i gotta crouch down it's all right don't bite my face she already bit my nose once and it was not pleasant <laughs> But, um, you all right? She looks very nervous right now. But yeah, guys, um, that helps us out, like I said. But we'll see you guys next time, and she will be biting the piss out of me. Well, I don't know if I'll put that video up this week, but probably the following week. But I do want to show what that looks like and what it's like, because I don't want everyone to think that toucans are all cuddles and sunshine and rainbows, you know pun intended but they bite a lot and Tupac does Tupac bites but his bites aren't very hard um, they, he's made a couple of my friends bleed but he doesn't really bite like other toucans do and like I, well I, I say this in the other video but I have pretty thick skin so they don't ever make me bleed but they do scratch me up quite a bit or not scratch but like I don't know the word for it what am I supposed to, or what am I trying to say? Anyways, I'm rambling on. You guys get the idea. But we will see you very soon. And I just wanted to put a little video out with her so you guys know what's going on with her. And that she will be out soon. And she is very healthy now. She's acting, behaving normally. And very energetic. I uh, can't wait to see what happens when she's out and about in the living room and has more freedom and isn't cramped up in a small cage and stuff for quarantine but yeah, here's the quarantine back here if you guys can see now the lights out i'm about to change the papers don't worry
But that's it, guys. We will see you next time. Bye for now. Seriously, dude, don't ever poop in our bed again.